Panic Diary, April the 1st. We're now seeing more information which explains the mistakes that were made earlier this year. So what happens is the Chinese authorities, remember China is ruled by the Chinese Communist Party, which is a real and present danger to the public health of the world, was not straight with the data. There are reports on the Chinese internet of way more urns for ashes than there were official Chinese dead. Whatever. The information out of China given to the World Health Organization wasn't clear and good, and it fed a false sense of complacency. Meanwhile, at the same time, Boris, etc., was obsessed with Brexit, whether Priti Patel was a bully or not, with um, bashing the BBC, securing Stanley Johnson's need to go to the pub whenever he wanted to do so. So there was poor data from the Chinese, and also there was a kind of mood of complacency. And there were some people, for example, the former advisor, and power of Dominic Cummings, who is a bit into eugenics anyway. So all of this meant that when places like South Korea and Singapore that had been struck hard by the SARS outbreak, it wasn't their first rodeo, and South Korea and Singapore started checking, testing, buying masks, buying ventilators, doing all of those things. Meanwhile, we were complacent, and that means we're now in an awful loo roll panic buying situation. Whereas we're now competing with everybody else in the world, in particular the United States, for, for scarce and more and more difficult to get hold of things like ventilators and masks and so forth and so on. So we called it wrong in January, we divvied in February. And we're going to suffer in April and May. Now wash your hands.